What is going on guys, Wilmax Random Videos, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you about the best OBS video settings. And yeah, let's get right into it. Alright, so my last video on this, it got a little bit outdated as OBS has had some pretty big updates and changes to their software. Obviously, as you can see, there's a bunch of blue now and stuff like that, which now, if you want to change your settings back to the original OBS, I personally don't mind this one, so I'm just going to leave it on it. You can go to Appearance, set it to Classic, but it doesn't actually change the layout of any of the UI or the video settings or anything like that back to the original, which I preferred the original, but this is just what we're stuck with for now. But so, being that my last video is outdated, I'm updating this video, and yeah, let's get right into it. So I feel like it should be said that I am on a 4K monitor, so maybe if you're on a 1080p monitor, this section doesn't apply to you. But looking at the video right here, where it says 3840 by 2160, that's your my, that's my base canvas resolution. If you're on a 1080p monitor, then you're, it'll be 1920 by 1080, and your output scaled resolution, you're probably going to want that to be 1920 by 1080. I scaled mine down to 1440 from 4K. And so, yeah, but that's, that's the video footage that I'm going to be putting on screen. All right, now going into the output settings, this is just specifically recording, so I'm only going to really talk about that. So skipping out of the streaming tab to recording tab and make sure your output mode at the top is set to sim or no, is set to advanced as this lets us change a lot more settings. Now, as far as your recording settings, your recording path, you want that to not be the same thing that your drive, like your computer has multiple drives. You want a game drive and a recording drive. You don't want to have your game and your recording drive on the same drive because it will make your game lag and it could possibly corrupt your recordings if something messes up. And then your format, if your editor allows it, you would use MKV as this will make it to where your game if your game crashes your computer everything gets too demanding too much load on the computer it makes it to where it won't corrupt your recording or like get, delete your recording now if your editor doesn't allow that you want to set this to mp4 now your video encoder you can use nvidia nvank or you can use intel quicksync if you have that as an option on this computer i use nvidia nvank However, on my other computer, I prefer to use Intel QuickSync. Your audio encoder, I don't know too much about audio. This is just what it was set on by default, and so I left it on that. You have another rescale output setting. I have it disabled in this spot just because I left it for the video spot right here. However, if we scroll down, all this stuff doesn't really matter. If we scroll down to the encoder settings, this is what really changes your video quality. And I've found the best rate control and stuff like that as far as in Minecraft not making your pix your game super pixelated and like this just and in some games certain rate controls work better. I've just found CQP is the best one for all the games. However, you can change it to lossless if your computer can handle that, if you're trying to record a tutorial or something, and you just want the crispiest, like straight out of your monitor that you can get. However, it's very demanding and quite large file sizes. Now the CQ level is, this used to be three settings in the old OBS, but in this one, it is eight, or it is um, all combined into one setting. I have it set to 18. However, the lower the number, the better visuals you're gonna get, but the more demanding it's gonna be on your computer to run. I have a pretty good computer, so I'm set mine a little bit lower. I think default it's like 22 or something like that. And then the keyframe interval, I have this set to zero. The preset, I have good quality. Obviously, like I mean, your best quality ones are going to be more demanding, but as you, yeah, that that one's sort of self-explanatory. I have mine set to P5, and then for tuning, it's set to high quality. And then the multi-pass mode, two passes is what it was on the original OBS, I believe. And this is just what I've found works. And the profile, set that to high. 
And then I don't have look ahead turned on. I have psycho visual tuning turned on. And then GPU set that to zero and max B frames set it to two. I believe it's three by default. I'm not really sure what B frames are, but I just know the best recording I've gotten is with two. Anyways, that's my video settings for OBS. And I tried to go in as in depth as possible for recording. However, there's a lot of things you can do in OBS. It's a very like buildable software as far as customizing it to your liking and making it the best software for you. And like audio settings, all the stuff. I don't really know too much about audio. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Um, I have some custom audio settings that I might make a tutorial on how to set up as OBS integrated something into their software to make this a lot easier. But yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, leave a like if this helped you. Um, leave a comment if you have any other questions that I might be able to answer. And I'll see you in the next one. And good. Bye.